Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with another kind of hobby video. When I first started my Death Corpse of Krieg project, I knew it was definitely one of those projects that I wanted to put my heart and soul into and make it as nice as I possibly could. It now stands at an astronomical amount of miniatures and they're all painted to a really nice standard and something that I'm extremely proud of. When it came to originally designing their bases, I knew I wanted to incorporate some of that trench work duck board stuff into it, but I quickly decided that I wasn't going to do that for all of the basic infantry. As soon as it got up to like a command squad or anything higher, they would all get those beautiful bases. So all my weapon teams, artillery pieces, all the other big pieces like that, even the Cyclops demolition tanks, they're all on really nice bases like that. But it would have taken so much time and effort to do it for all of the infantry that I decided not to. I don't regret that decision now, but I'm about to add another platoon of um, Kriegsmen to that army. This time it's all based on the plastic ones, the new ones from Games Workshop. I bought seven boxes, so 70 of them. So I'm hoping to get a full platoon of 55 guys. Yeah, there's extra 15 guys I'm gonna use for tank commanders and the like. Um, but this particular squad, or platoon, should I say, is going to get the beautiful duckboard bases, um, but I'm not going to be making them. With the help of today's sponsor, Proxy Wars, I was able to get my hands on some pre-designed, um, sculpted trench bases. They're absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you'll see them a lot more in the video coming up. And they were a lot of fun to uh, put together and paint. They're extremely well-priced. Uh, I think it's 11 euro for 20 bases, so five euro per squad basically gets you a beautiful trench um, system of bases for them. So I'm super excited by these. I will leave links to Proxy Wars and I will leave links to these particular bases in the description below. If you like the look of them by the end of this video and you wanna check them out for yourself, and um, it's particularly cool. I will talk a little bit more about Proxy Wars later in the video, but for now, let's get working on some trench bases. And this is the bag of bases you can order from Proxy Wars. As you can see, you do get 20 trench bases in a nice baggie. All of them are really nicely detailed. Some of them are duplicates, but I did order 60 of them, so I'm sure if I took out all 60 of them in one go, it'd be quite a nice variety of bases. They remove all the supports and clean them up and everything after they've 3D printed them for you, so you do get them in a relatively nice state of affairs, ready to be sprayed and painted. I decided for the purposes of this video that I would show you guys how I did 10 of the bases. It will be a very quick and easy um, kind of step-by-step -step guide on how to make these bases look really special. And like I said, to make these bases for all of my infantry models before would have just taken too much time and would have got annoying. So the fact that I can now order them for quite a reasonable price, I think, um, and then just spend a little bit of time painting them up and then gluing the models directly on top of them, I think is going to uh, be quite nice for me. Like I said at the beginning, I have a full new plastic platoon of Krieg that I need to build and paint. And these are the bases I'm going to field on. After I stuck them to this board, I sprayed them uh, black and then gray sear which gives me a really nice base coat for paint. But before I get onto any paint, I'm just gonna add a little bit more texture to those bases. The bases do indeed have texture that looks like mud and stuff, and you probably can paint directly on top of them. But I'm also trying to have these match in with my current bases. So I am gonna go for my AK Terrain's Dark Earth Texture Paste, and I am gonna paint that over the ground area of these bases once again. This will add that uh, perfect bit of detail, just kind of bump them up a little bit more make them stand out um, and have them, uh, like I said, match in with the rest of my models, which all have this uh, texture paste on their bases. Like I said, the sponsor of today's video is actually Proxy Wars. I've gotten a bunch of stuff from them so far and I've very much been enjoying the process. Uh, the service that they um, provide is one of 3D printing. So if you enjoy uh, 3D prints from certain companies, but you do not have access to a 3D printer, I thoroughly recommend you jump onto the Proxy Wars website and see if they have available for you. And my favorite 3D printing uh, files come from Station Forge, and they do tend to stock the majority of their bits and pieces at a very reasonable price, including these bases, which are of course from Station Forge. Uh, every week they add a new and new sculpts to their uh, ever-growing inventory of awesome stuff. And yeah, it's genuinely the, the price that I get quite surprised by. So if you wanna check it out, you might find some cool models that interest you. Uh, get them ordered up and get painting. Once the texture paste had dried on these bases, it was time to start working on the wood areas. So I just grabbed some wild wood contrast paint and I painted it over all of the board sections. Obviously there is duck board 
built into the majority of these bases, which is exactly the thing that makes it a trench base, in my humble opinion. Um, I go for much more regimented, straight lace, straight lined bases when I make my own custom ones. There is a video on how I do other trench bases. I will leave a link uh, down below as well if you want to check that out. I think they look pretty cool, but I didn't do any basic infantry, so I think it's this is definitely going to complement um, the forces that I have. Add a little bit of Agro's Dunes to get the first coat on all of the bones and skulls and stuff that are protruding through. There's a few bones and skulls on some of the bases, and some bases have absolutely none. So it's about uh, taking your time and making sure you find all those little details on the bases. It is quite nice painting all the bases on the on a piece of wood or a board like this. You know, you're painting all ten of them in a single go. It's a uh, it's making the process go very fast. Painting the metallic parts on the shovel. There's a comm set, like a Vox set that's uh, discarded on one of the bases, an old fuel can, some discarded um, kind of the air processor can thingies that come off of uh, gas masks, gas filters, I guess would be the right term, which is a really nice touch for any Death Corp players. Now it's time for the bit that actually makes the bases pop. So we jump to Rise of Rust. I don't know if you guys have seen my stuff before, but I, I dry brush all of my bases then with Rise of Rust and then a coat of bone. The Rise of Rust gives it that kind of oxidized, rust-looking um, feel to the bases. You can imagine that these old toxic war zones have been fought over for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And the amount of particulates that are in the soil, it's just going to make them grow. Nothing will ever grow uh, on Krieg ever again. And that's for damn sure. There's too much toxicness in the air and the atmosphere. And I definitely wanted to play that off with the bases, adding that touch of orange to it. I de definitely, I think, uh, kind of ticks that box for me. To pull them back into a little bit more of a natural look, I'm going to dry burst them very lightly with the Ushapti bone. This is once again to catch the wood grain in the duck boards, and then a little bit across all of the, uh, the muck and dirt area as well. Uh, add a little bit more color and brighten up with them. And as you can see, it makes a huge difference. And as you can see, it only takes a couple of brush strokes really lightly over the tops. This is, another, again, another great way of doing them without having models glued to them already. It makes doing these steps like take 10 seconds as opposed to a couple of minutes where you're trying to be careful not to hit boots or legs or anything like that. So uh, I definitely enjoy this. I do love the effect it gives, the orange and then the bone. I base all of my Astro Militarum armies on the same bases so that if I ever want to play all my different Imperial Guard regiments together, they will all match each other and I think it will look pretty cool. After the dry brushes, these bases are looking pretty nice. We're going to add some Abaddon Black and this is just to rim the bases, make them look nice and neat and tidy. This was a little bit trickier to do whilst it was uh, glued to the board. So if I am being brutally honest with you guys, I did indeed take them off of the, the wooden board. And then I, uh, I did all the rims. I took the opportunity as well to spray the board black, thinking that that was a really good idea, that you would be able to see the bases better. But unfortunately, after I sprayed them black, the, the, the board became um, a little bit, uh, not transparent, reflective. And it kept uh, throwing the light back over the camera. So it kind of washed out all of the base. I was really annoyed at this because they were looking so rich and vibrant before I sprayed the board like an idiot. Um, so I do apologize for how they're going to look for the rest of this video. I didn't really notice it until the editing stage that they were, um, it basically made them look super pale. But all I did after the dry brushing and the edging was went back in and added a little bit of detail to them and retouched up all the metallics, retouched up all the bone and any other details on it and just a very light highlight. And that basically finished off the result of getting 10 trench bases done in less than an hour's worth of brush time for sure. And I'm super happy with the result. Okay guys, as you can see, uh, it's not a very complicated thing to get these bases looking really swish on the battlefield and under some miniatures. I actually can't wait to get a new squad of creeps and paint it up so I can actually stick them down onto these new bases and see how it all looks together. I'm guessing it's going to look pretty cool. As I've described, Proxy Wars is an amazing resource for getting your hands on 3D printed designs without actually having a 3D printer yourself. They do them at ridiculously good prices, uh, ship them out well packaged, I haven't had any issues with them so far, and, and I'm happy to have them as a continued supporter of the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you give it a like, ask me any questions you want in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you want to check out my Patreon, which is the best way to support me, there's a link to that below. You get extra benefits like access to a Discord server and an extra video every single week just for you guys. 52 extra videos a year. I think it's pretty swish.
So uh, yeah, with all that information, hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you in the next video.